Hi friends, it is time for story time on the back porch. I'm Lisa and getting comfy is our sweet friend Lila. Have you ever thought about being an astronaut? Maybe zooming through space? What planets would you like to visit? I know one that's really bright that I like to learn about and that is Mars. And this whole book is so fun. It's called Mars Earthlings Welcome by Stacy McAnulty and the pictures by Stevie Lewis. Let's learn about Mars together. Are you ready, Lila? You're invited. Mission to Mars. When? As soon as possible. But probably not for a few decades. Where? On Mars, of course. Hello, inhabitants of Earth, or as she calls herself, Planet Awesome. I'm formally inviting you to visit me, Planet Marvelous. Let me introduce myself. I am Magnificent Mars, favorite sibling of Earth, fourth planet from Sun, second smallest in the solar system. You've spent so much time on Earth, probably your whole life. It's time you visited me. Some people have been to Earth's moon, but no one has ever been to another planet. And I'm a planet, a party planet. I want to be the first planet with human guests. How to be a planet in our solar system. Orbit sun, be round. Don't be a dwarf planet, sorry Pluto. How to be a party planet. Invite friends, be classy, not gassy. I'm close to you, sort of, depending on my orbit. Earth and me, at our closest, 34 million miles apart. But sometimes siblings need space and we're 250 million miles apart. You'll love it here. I'm like Earth, kinda, only better. For example, my day is longer, 37 minutes longer. Earth, one spin, 24 hours. Me, one spin, 24 hours and 37 minutes. Think of what you can do with the 37 extra minutes. Sleep in, enjoy more screen time, eat junk food, whatever you want. And I have two moons. I know Earth is totally jealous. Say hi to Phobos and Deimos. You might mistake them for ginormous potatoes. Nope, they're natural satellites. When you come, bring a camera. There is so much to see. Guess who has the largest volcano in the whole solar system? Not Earth, me. Olympus Mons is 16 miles tall. Earth's biggest active volcano, Hawaii's Mauna Loa, is not even half that height. Do you like stunning views? Valles Marineris is four times as deep as the Grand Canyon and not nearly as crowded. Great place for a selfie. Along with your camera, don't forget to BYOO. That means bring your own oxygen because, well, I don't have much, just a trace. Oh, pack water too, because all of mine is frozen. Scientists think I had liquid water millions, maybe billions of years ago when I was warmer. Today, I'll admit, Earth totally wins when it comes to liquid H2O. She's a better planet for swimming. Yep, Earth is blue and known for her water, especially her ocean. I'm red, not because I'm hot. My average temperature is negative 81 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than the South Pole in winter. I'm red, not because I'm mad, but that's probably why Earthlings named me after the Roman god of war. War, blood, anger, you get it. I'm red because my soil is full of iron, rusty iron. Earth and I were rocky, rugged planets. Mercury and Venus, too. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are gas giants. And like Earth, I have polar ice caps. I have mountains. I have clouds. And I have dreams. 
dreams of big-brained visitors who want to travel to miraculous Mars. If you think parties on Earth are fun, just you wait. But this invitation isn't for my birthday. I don't know my exact birthday. I'm about 4.5 billion years old, like all the planets in our solar system. If you want to celebrate me, March is my month. However, you can visit me anytime. I've had visitors from Earth in the past, but none with a heartbeat. In 1965, the U.S. spacecraft Mariner 4, my first flyby, it came within 6,118 miles and took 22 pictures. I hope it got my good side. In 1971, Mars 3, a Soviet craft, actually landed on my surface and operated for a whole 20 seconds. In 2004, NASA sent me new friends, Spirit and Opportunity. These cute rovers were expected to play and explore for only 90 days. But I'm so impressive, they scampered around way longer. Spirit, six years. Opportunity, almost 15 years. This little guy traveled 28 miles. That's longer than a marathon. Still, I long for you humans and your curious minds, your five senses and your love of parties. Imagine the things we'll learn. Imagine the fun we'll have. So, what are you waiting for? Come to Remarkable Mars. Let's get this party started. As soon as your spaceship is ready, new technology required. That was a good one, right, Lila? Well, what did you learn about Mars? If you'd like to see Mars, just look up, and it's the planet that appears very red. And in the back of this book, there's all kinds of fun facts about Mars. Thank you so much for joining us today for Storytime on the Back Porch. Be sure and join us for another Read Aloud story and subscribe.